active, and, and they stuck in the same spot. So um, then they would want them to get out and get to the program where we where we really deal with things like conflict resolution, letting them know that anytime you have some type of conflict, you don't have to go and look for a way to kill the person. You can talk your way out of conflict. You can reason your way out of conflict. It doesn't always have to be a, a violent end. Because many times, you know, if you watch the news, that's all you see. A conflict occur, and then the ending is violent. You know what I mean? Even when these so-called rat beefs, a conflict occur, and then the ending is violent. So we, we want them to know, how often you seen a rat beef, and at the end of the day, these brothers shook hands and, and ended that conflict in a non-violent way, where everybody can see that. Where they came together, yo, let's talk this thing out as men. That doesn't happen often. If it ever happened, maybe it has. I haven't seen it, though. But that's a message. Why not Why not promote that message to the youth? But you're going to promote the conflict, and then you're going to show when P- Biggie and Pac got killed, and you're going to show when this happened to that brother, when they jumped this guy getting out the car or at the club and right, took his chain right, and this right, and that. Right. But you're not going to show two black men resolving the conflict mm-hmm. in a nonviolent way. Exactly. And that's what we need to see. That's a message that we need to see because exactly. it happens. But if we leave it to watching the media, we never seen it happen before. And Black men can't resolve conflict nonviolently, and it's and it's not true. You hit you hit something right on the head right there when you sit there. Because when hip hop first was started, it was about the message. It was about right. poor inner city kids showing their struggles and their times, and showing what they had to go through to make it out of the ghetto or try their dreams to make it out of the ghetto. And that's how hip hop evolved from all that. Right. Now they went away from all that. They went away from teaching. They went away from the elements, and they making this music, uh, this stuff they call the day music. And now they're not going back to that. When they try to let the people go back to that form, they're pushing the way, they're sweeping on the rug. They're doing everything they can to stop people doing positivity. How you feel about that? Well, once again, it's because, like I said, the people who control the industry are not creators of the music. They care about the dollar, but not the art. So. You know, they found a way to make a dollar to satisfy their uh, monetary thirst. And also at the same time, you know, the, the, for one, these rap artists are like disposable. They use them. Like a, a prime example is Bobby Schmurder. This guy had one of the huge, a huge, huge song, yeah. that hot, hot nigga, I think. Yeah. Hot nigga. <laughs> they some hot nigga. Anyway, he got in trouble with the law. You think, um, his record label went to bail him out. Nope. Think they put any money out to get him out of prison? You think they put any more investment in this brother? Nope. They kicked that brother to the curb, and then the next, on to the next. On to the next. Yeah. And um, that's how little they care about you, man. You just, you just a prop. You know what I mean? You just a, a way to get to the means of, I mean, a, a end to the means of the money. So, I mean, it's sad, but at the same time, I always criticize Philly. For not having a major label at by t- by now, yeah. because we were one of the first like major hip hop communities or major hip hop cities. And uh, when hip hop started, New York was the center for hip hop. That was the hip hop capital of the world, uh-huh. and Philly was second. Right. It was only New York and Philly. You know what I mean? Right. When hip hop started. Yeah. But out of New York, you seen many major hip hop labels. Who are able to take guys off the street and put time and um, energy into them? You've seen the bad boys. You've seen the uh, what's Jay Z label? The Rockefellers. You've seen the, uh, the the Eric Sermons and these guys with major labels, major label. Well, not totally major, but big movements coming out of the city. But since the beginning of hip hop, we have yet to see. There's no Puff Daddy in Philly. There's no, uh, what's the guy that used to have Murder Inc., um, Herb Gotti? Oh, God, yeah, you know, right. a guy who could change some some youth who got talent, some guy who could change their life. Where I, I figured, like, Jazzy Jeff or somebody like that could have been that guy right. that, yeah. um, you know, put a lot of people on from this city. But since the beginning of hip-hop, Philly artists always had to leave the city to get on. To get on. Back, to get yeah. on. Yep. So, and, and, you know, perfect yep. example of that is uh, The Roots. But you know what, I want to say something real quick. You, my brother, are a prime example of, because we're human beings and we all make mistakes. You know, we all make mistakes, we all do some things that maybe we shouldn't. But the love is, once the light goes on here, and the head, and the wisdom comes, and we change the way we live, 
and then we go back to actually reach out. And that's what you're doing. You're going to the youth and you're reaching out and you're giving back to them. Right. That's another thing that must be implemented in the real hip hop. We got to give back. Right. You know, especially I to our think, youth. I just think as men, it, it's a duty. Yeah. It, it, it's not just something that um we sh- well it is something that we should be doing. It's a duty. It's yeah. not. It's, it's something we shouldn't have a choice about. Agreed. Because they say once you know better, you do better. I mean, if you know something, you should pass it on. You know what I mean? If you see, if you see the person going down the street and you know that it's a big ass manhole down that block, and if he keep going straight, he gonna fall in that manhole. You are you supposed to say, yo, watch your step. It's, you gonna fall in that manhole. Right. God, you don't have to, cause I fell in it. You know what I mean? Right. I, right. I was lucky to get out of that joint, right. but right. you don't have to go right. head down there and yeah, fall right. in it too, right. cause I'm telling you about it. Nobody told me about it, right. but I am telling you about it. So right. you know. That, that's something that we should be doing, and um, that's that's originally how I got down with um Frontline Dads and the mentoring program because the brother right, posed the back. question to me, saying like we always talking about the youth, but what what have we actually done to change the course that they on? Right. And it don't it don't take a lot to change the course, just a little bit of time and um caring to change the course of a young man or young woman's life just, you know what i mean let them know your experiences and let them know they don't have to make those same mistakes if, that you made because we all made mistakes Agreed. so it's just a learning process for them yo listen this interview is crazy you know what we could talk I, see i could talk to him for <laughs> seven hours but we don't have seven hours to work for time time went by that excuse me time went by that fast. yeah time was yeah. Time hey, it's fine. moving oh, man i was fine um, real. But real. yeah, exactly. It's and and real, you, man. I'm actually enjoying the conversation. So it's like, but nevertheless, yeah. um, live J5. Oh, oh let God. me say one thing uh, before we wrap this up, guys. Just for the record, um, I'm a, listen, and this is another thing we, we gotta start doing too. You know, uh, as a hip hop community, as MCs, DJs, whatever, we gotta start being honest about things. I'm a, I, I'm an MC too. But this is one of the nicest MCs, <laughs> period. Like, if I was to say anything other than that, I, I'm Thank a hater. You, or I'm, I'm not being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, this dude right here, you know, hey, listen, we have uh, a song together. Uh, we're going to get a video done on it later. Um, I have some other projects I'm working on with this brother. Um, King Most Hines definitely. is also working on projects with him. Yeah, so, boy. just for the record, we so y'all understand. Working. We always work. Live J5 will be back on this show. I mean, he going to be back a lot of times. Once we release the video, him and I are working on uh, the projects that him and I are working on, that he's working on for Husky, the projects that he's working on for Sloppy Copy. Hines, he's going to be back. And uh, listen, again, do me a favor, y'all. Support the real hip hop. It's the real really hip hop. Like a person's the music. Real. If you like what he's doing, come out to the shows. Uh, support with your sales or the 99 cent downloads. All those things are important. You know what I'm saying? And uh, most importantly, one of the thrillers features about you, good brother, for me. You know, cause I love the kids, man. I love, I love, <laughs> I love the kids. All yeah. of them. You ain't gotta be my seed. As far as I'm concerned, you if you a child, I, I love you. You know what I'm saying? And you giving back to the children, hey man, like that's that's real talk. And you know what the love is, y'all? Listen, just because maybe you made mistakes in your life, maybe you've been to uh, a jail or a prison, or maybe you was in the dumb stuff uh, coming up. Guess what? You one of the best examples for these kids because you actually been there been with there these situations, mm-hmm. and you can talk to them real straight about what it is. So guess what? Because you have made a mistake in the, in, in the past, that don't mean that you can't school and help our children today. And that's exactly what this brother is doing. He's helping the youth, and and I respect him immensely for it. Uh, I would like for you to plug the program one more time. And is there anything that people can do if they were interested in uh, helping the program or being mentors? How do they reach out and, and get involved? Right. It's, 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 it's frontlinedads.org. You can visit the website, and um, once you visit the website, it will show you how to get in contact with us. Uh, if you want to enter a child into the program, it, you could call up, call up Ruben Jones, who is the founder of the program. We're going to have um, him on the show at some point. Right. Too. I mean, he, he would be an excellent guest to have on the show. The brother is just an all-around activist. He's doing work all over the city. Cool. And um, 
Yeah, so you you could contact him, contact me, and we'll get.